Welcome to my YouTube channel, I also plan to join. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to do your concrete facial in AkiCAD, okay? So uh, this is one kind of concrete facial, as you can see. Alright, um, I'm also going to show you another type. So this is actually, this is also another type of concrete facial. The one that just looks like step, okay? And uh, I'm also going to show you another. I'm going to be using another floor plan okay a new floor plan because this is actually you know this already i have the concrete facial on it already so i want uh, a new floor plan so i can have the concrete facial on it okay so i'm just going to use this one right here okay so for you to actually do the concrete facial the first thing you guys need to do okay the first thing you guys need to take note of is what kind of design you guys want to put in uh for your concrete facial is it the step one or is it the normal one that we used to see the curved one or you know any other design you guys want to use so that's one of one, that, that's the first thing you guys want to take note of and the second thing you want to do right now is come to options okay click on uh, come to a complex profile click on profile manager and i want you to select this new okay select the new i like to load up and uh I'm just going to make a new folder, okay? I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to give it my own name, okay? I'm going to first put A at the beginning so you can actually put it to the top of the list. That's it. So it's going to be at the top of the list, okay? I'll sponsor to join here. I'll sponsor to join that. I'm just going to click on OK and Click this and uh, give it a new profile, which is going to be the concrete uh, facial. Then click on OK. Once you're done, okay. Once you're done like that, I want you to select this beam and untick this wall, okay. Now the next thing you want to do is select on this and right click to delete it the next thing i want you to do after you've done that is come to the document section here click on the line tool and i want you to select where this x is okay where this x is i want you to select on the x and drag it up okay i want you to give you a distance of 650 okay click enter let me try to zoom out and give another distance here of, let me say another distance here of 650 click enter okay once you've done that, I want you to drag it down, okay? Drag it down. In case you guys are not using chained, that's for this this line tool. When you click on the line, you can come here and use chained. So you can actually do the way I'm, you can actually do the way I'm actually doing it. Instead of it to be using this, if you're single, you can only do this once and do this another, another, you know, and do this again and do this again. But if you select on the chained, you guys can do this one by one like that, okay? So once you guys have reached here, come down and I want you to give you a distance of 75. Click enter, drag it back like this to be 705. Drag it down to be 705. Drag it down like this to be 705. And this one is also going to be 705. Okay, and it's also going to be 705. Click enter again, okay? so uh, as you can see this is dashed so i'm just going to highlight all of this and select this to, to have a solid line okay now click on the line to here select this and select on solid line okay so the next thing i want you guys to do is select this drag it outside and give a distance here of 705 and uh this is also going to be 705 it's also going to be 705 it's also going to be 705 and it's also going to be 705 so it doesn't matter the kind of design you guys can decide to use any kind of uh design of your choice i'm just sketching something randomly outside okay if you guys want to actually do a little on the five you guys can decide to use stop here and just click click okay now you have something like this so the next thing i want you guys to do is click on this x drag it down okay drag it to the left side and give a distance of 225 click enter drag it up and give a distance of 150 click enter drag it back click here and uh, come here and double click on this okay okay make sure your suspend your suspend group is being selected hold down control your keyboard select this select this select this okay once you've done that select this line here click this middle point here 
and this stuff is actually going to pop out and I want you to select this curve edge select the curve edge and come here and just curve the edge like this select this, do the same thing for this other side too and uh, curve the edge like this so you're going to be having something like this, okay? so the next thing I want you guys to do is click on the fill tool and hold down space bar on your keyboard and select inside here once you select inside here, I want you to click on it come here and select this opening reference, okay? Click the modifier, select this and select this and select the, and come and select the component. Click this and click finish. Click on the override surfaces. Click this and look for titanium white, which is actually this paint titanium white. And the next thing you want to do is save. Okay, once you save, I want you to just cancel this. Okay, and go to your ground floor plan. This is my this is my ground floor plan, okay? So I want you to come out, come here and sketch out the concrete special you did on the floor plan that you're actually actually working on. Okay. So for you to do that, I want you to come to design here, select the beam tool, okay, click the settings dialog, click the segment here, okay, select the third icon here, click the custom. And I want you to come and look for concrete fascia. This is a concrete fascia, okay? You can click this. You can look for the name. That is if you're using Aka 26 to 27. Aka 26 or Aka 27. You can double click on this and select on this. But if you guys want to be looking for it, you can click this and just select this. As you can see, this is a concrete fascia. And click on OK. So once you've done that, I want you to come and sketch out the concrete fascia on this particular drawing you actually did okay so for you to do that just click any of the places and as you can see you want this other side here to be to merge with the, to merge with the wall okay so once you click you click again you click 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 and uh, you just keep doing that until you have so if you make a mistake like this, as you can see, just click backspace on your keyboard and it's going to take you to this previous one. And click here back, okay? So once you've done, I want you to go to your 3D view to check what you did. Click on the 3D view. And uh, as you can see, the concrete fascia is actually down here. So what I want you to do is untick your suspend groups, okay? Click the concrete fascia, click the settings dialog here, and I want you to come and select the beam here. Now come to this side and select the first story. So the concrete fascia, the concrete fascia is going to be on the first story, okay? Click on OK, and this is going to go up. So as you can see, you're going to be having something as uh, beautiful as this okay so you yeah, can even decide to increase the 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 length the length of this so it's gonna touch the the story okay so this is one way for you guys to design a concrete special in agricad and you guys can decide if you want to place your roof what you just have to do is go to the ground floor come to the first story okay this is the concrete special i did so click the roof. Once you click the roof, uh, you can come here and do a lot of some some changes. You can, you can come here and set up some changes to whatever you guys want to use. Okay. So I'm just gonna select uh, the star roof. Click the settings dialog here, and uh, I'm just gonna do some little bit of settings here. Okay. So once you've done this, this is going to be channel 5, this is going to be 37, but this can also be changed to any uh, pitch you guys want, okay? It's going to be 1, I'm going to click on OK. So the next thing I want to do is hold on, alt, uh, hold on space bar on my keyboard and just pick any edge here and click. Once I click, go to your 3D view to check what you've done and the roof is flying up like this. So you want to make the roof to come down, all you want to do is... On, go back to your ground floor plan 
and where your south elevation is being located i want you to double click on the south elevation now you can see what you're actually doing okay click this press ctrl d to bring this down to this side here okay so what i want to do next is that we want to allow allow this one to align with this one okay so click this and click on the settings dialog click the multiplane geometry and we're going to give this to be 650 okay click on ok and as you can see press ctrl d i'll bring this down exactly at the concrete fissure on top of the concrete fissure once you've done zoom out i'm going to be having a roof like this click on the 3d view and uh, i'm going to be having something as simple as this okay so this, is, this is one of the ways for you guys to do your concrete fissure in akikad if you guys also want to know how to do uh design your pillars i'll suggest you guys check the description of this video so that you guys can have more ideas on how to do that and if you guys also want to do the gable roof okay the gable roof the peach roof uh you guys should check the description of this video you guys are gonna see see get some information on how to do that so i'm also going to show you guys uh one other thing okay so if you guys want to design like this like if you guys if you guys look very carefully i don't notice that there is this particular tip of tiles all around the the concrete fissure okay that's underneath the concrete fissure that's tip all around the building this is also done by the concrete fissure okay it was added through the concrete fissure okay i'm going to show you guys on how to do that okay so you can make your this uh the design of your building look more uh you know beautiful okay so for you to do that for you to go about that all you just have to do is i want to come back here and i'm just going to show you guys real quick so all you just have to do is i want to go to options come to complex profile click the profile manager and uh select select edit select this beam untick this okay select the custom and also to select the concrete feature that you did earlier this is it select it i'm just gonna open this stuff what i wanted to do next is click the line tool okay make sure you're using this chain where this x is okay where this x is i want you to click on it drag it down and give a distance of like 300 click enter move it outside like this let's say by 25 click enter move it up and click okay so that's gonna make a nice um design like this so what you want to do next is click on the field tool hold on space bar on your keyboard and select inside okay once you've done that you can select inside here okay come to the modifiers here so if if yours is being selected thus you can decide to untick it okay click on the component selected click this core click finish click on override surfaces click here and let's give it the brick design that we want okay once we break iron bone okay click on it and uh, click save once you click save cancel this and go to your 3d view and you're just going to be seeing it taped all around the design of your house okay so you can make the design of your house look uh beautiful okay and um this is one of the ways you guys can go about that let me just give this design here underneath too so you're gonna be having a nice um design like this okay thanks for watching this video this video has been available to you and then like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial video thank you